Hi, I'm Matt Gavenda from MattGavenda.com and today we're going to show you how to make a photography logo in Photoshop. First we're going to open up Photoshop. So here I'm going to open up Adobe Photoshop CS4. With Photoshop open, we're going to bring in a photo of the camera. And uh, so we got a camera right here. Open that up. And we actually want to make the canvas. We want to make the canvas a little bit bigger. So you go up to image, and then you go down to camera canvas size. When you go into canvas size, you can make the width. We'll make the width uh, 11 and the height 10. All right. So then that is more of a size to work on. And so right now I'm going to select all and then which is uh, Apple A and then Apple C is the copy and then Apple V to paste. And so we've got this now on its own layer. All right, we're going to grab this so we're going to move it over a little bit. And maybe down a little bit. So Apple T is a shortcut. Bring it down a little bit in size. When you get where you want it, I held down the shift key as I did it so it didn't distort it at all. All right, then we moved it right there. All right, so we got we got it where we want it, and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to use a filter, and that's under artistic, and cutout. So once you bring that up, it'll show what it looks like. And I was already playing with the levels a little bit, and you can play with it however you like, but. This is a level that we that I liked and I thought that it came out nice. So we're going to use this shape right here. So you just click OK and it'll do that. Um, we don't want the name of the logo of the camera in it. So we're going to go in and we're going to basically use the mag magnifying, um, the zoom to zoom in so you can see this. And then you're going to use the brush with the brush, we're going to we're going to use um, this gray, and we're going to basically cover up the logo. So you're going to go in here, and basically just cover it up. All right, that's done. So then we're going to hit Apple O, Apple Zero to go back to the bigger view. Going to make this a little bit smaller. So there's room for the text. So I grabbed it, hit Apple T. Until I got to where I want it. Let's move this up here. We can crop this a little bit. All right. All right, back to the T over here in the left. We're gonna type in the name. I'm gonna go with Photos R Us. You can use any font you want. Uh, this is totally up to you as to what you want to do with this logo and uh, what feel you want to have for it. Um, every client and every person that makes a logo is choosing it for a specific reason and uh, a specific vibe. And so I have this one here. I'm going to change the color of this because it's pretty light. And to actually change the text, you have to select it and then click it up here. Now we can use this blue for that. All right, that's selected. And then I'm going to grab the camera and bring it over here. And we have a phot photography logo. I'm Matt Gavenda from MattGavenda.com. And today we learned how to make a photography logo in Photoshop.